In this video, I will be showing you how to create Google Form for event registration. The first thing you want to do is go onto googleforms.com, which is completely free. Once you have done that, you are going to select Event Registration below Template Gallery. After selecting Event Registration, you will be redirected to a new page. And this is how the template looks at the moment. The first thing is if you would like to change the header pick right here or if you would like to add a picture to your header section, all you'll need to do is tap right where you see Customize Theme in the top right hand corner. You're going to tap right there. Then you'll see Header and you'll see Image Upload. From there you can tap on that and you could either choose to upload an image or you can tap on Themes right here and you can choose from any one of these themes. So for example, let's say I were to select sports and games, and then from there, let's say I would like to use this header. All I would need to do is simply tap on it, then select insert. After you have done that, you can see that the header image has changed. After you have done that, if you would like to change the heading or the title of the registration form, you can simply tap in the box right here, and you could change it to whatever you want. So let's say for example, I want to add in simple answers right here. I could do that. So I could type in simple answers. So let me do that real quick. And you can see right there, simple answers, event registration. After doing that, you'll go into the second box. And from here, you'll be able to set up the event timing. You can also add the event address and you can also add contact us information right there. So you can add all of that information right here if you want. Another thing that you can also do is by going over to the right hand menu option, if it is a case that you'd like to add a title or description, you can tap on the double T's right here to do that. And if you'd like to add a photo or image, you can select the add image icon right here and you'll be able to add an image you can also use it to add video, so you could tap on add video and you can search in YouTube for a video. After doing that, you can scroll down and from this section now, you can see name. If it is a case that you would like to change it, you can tap where you see name and you could type out the question that you want or you can change the question style overall. So for example, where you see short answer, you could tap on that and if you'd like to change it to multiple choice, you can do that. If you'd like to change it to a paragraph or a checkbox, you can also do that. And if it is a case that you would like to request that they upload a file, you could tap on File Upload right here. And after tapping on File Upload, you can see Let Respondents Upload Files to Drive. And you could tap on Continue to allow that. So you can see right there. And then from there, you could change the question that you would like to ask and you'll require that they upload a file. Another thing you can also do is by scrolling down, you can see the different questions right here. Now to add more questions, you could tap on the plus from the right hand column that says add question. And then from there, you'll be able to type out the type of question that you would like to add. And also if you would like to delete one of these, all you have to do is simply select the section, then you can tap on the trash can to remove it. So that is how you'll be able to set up your event registration form. And keep in mind that by tapping on responses from the top menu option, this is where you're going to view your responses. And when it comes on to the questions, if you would like to make a question required so that they have to answer it, like how you see the asterisk right here, all you'll need to do is simply tap on the section, then toggle on required, as you can see right here. And also, if you'd like to toggle it off so they don't have to answer the question, you can simply toggle it off right there. So that's how you'll be able to do it. And if it is a case that you'd like to add a question, as I said earlier, you can tap on that right there to add a question. You can also tap on the add section option right here. And from there, you can create a completely different section, as you can see right here. And when it comes on to settings, if we were to tap on settings right here, you can see the option to collect email addresses if you want. So you can simply tap right here and you can collect respondent input if you want. 
and you can also toggle on file upload as you can see right there and you can limit the amount of response by toggling this on but i would recommend that you leave it as is that we have created our event registration form to share it all you will need to do is tap on send in the top right hand corner after doing that you have a few options you can either enter the name or email addresses of the persons that you would like to share it with then tap on send or you can tap on the link icon right here and then tap on shorten url and from there you can copy the link and you can share it with whomever you want another thing you can also do is you can tap right here on the embed html and you could simply copy the html code another thing you could normally do is you could select the embed code and typically you'll be able to copy and share it and paste it on your website but because this form contains an embedded file upload it won't be able to do with that but that's typically how you'll be able to share your event registration form hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe